Oil, oil, oil. If your engine bay looks like this, then most probably your top breather valve and breather pipe need a checkup. This little part is famous for cracking, leaking, and turning your Smart Roadster engine bay into an oil mist nightmare. In this video, I'll show you how to replace it step by step, and I'll also use an upgraded part so you don't have to deal with this mess again. So, what does the top breather pipe actually do on the Smart Roadster? When the engine is running, some combustion gases escape past the piston rings and build pressure inside the crankcase. The breather system relieves that pressure and routes oily vapors back into the intake, where they are burned again. The top breather pipe connects the valve cover, the top of the engine, to the intake system through the breather valve. Its job is to vent crankcase pressure, recycle oil vapors, and prevent oil leaks. On the Smart Roadster, this pipe is made of thin plastic and sits in a very hot engine bay. Over time, it becomes brittle, cracks, and starts leaking, usually underneath, where you can't even see it. When it fails, oil mist spreads around the engine bay. You can get rough idle vacuum leaks, increased oil consumption, and a strong oil smell. If air is passing through, when you blow, that means that non-return valve is faulty. Okay, here we have new set from uh, from the site. Link in the description. So I will show you what you will get inside. So you will get metal non-return valve. You will get two pipes like this and you will get clamps which looks like this so I will just prepare one side like this just like that so you put this side like this all the way push as much as you can then we will adjust and tighten. Now we will add non-return valve. You can see the arrow. It should be pointed to the intake manifold and throttle body, just like this. Okay. Now we are connecting other side. Be careful because this is plastic and you can just crack it just few turns so it's like steady and then we will put the clamp just like this now we have this side connected to the throttle body this to the rest going but that's just behind now what we're gonna do we will put the clamps on the ends and we will add non return I will add clamps because it will be easier later on and I will add also on this side. I will first push it to this side. Now I will push in this part and that's it. Let's tight up the clamps and that should be
this is all connected now as you can see arrow is going to the engine don't forget to put this line for the fuel regulator and that should be it all in place all tight we will see results and if we're gonna have oily lines again anyhow i'm planning to put oil catch can to reduce any oil in the system in case you decide to replace the breather pipe with the original smart part there is one important thing to keep in mind access to the crankcase connection is quite difficult especially if your roadster is equipped with air conditioning in that case it will be necessary to slightly lower the engine you can do this by loosening the right side engine mount or the subframe mounting bolts and then jacking up the car until the rear wheel lifts off the ground. This will lower the engine by around 10 centimeters and give you enough space to reach the crankcase connection. Keep in mind that original breather pipes are well known for failing quite quickly, which is why an upgraded version is a very good alternative. Another thing I really like about the smart community is how much knowledge and experience people are willing to share. And since we're already talking about upgrades, I want to mention our good colleague, Goran, who owns a beautiful black smart roadster. He recommended using an upgraded non-return valve for the breather system. This option is especially good for those of you running a remapped ECU or more power than a standard roadster. Goran tested this setup himself, and according to him, it's absolutely bulletproof. The valve is the Danfoss NRVH10S non-return valve, a high-quality component originally developed for refrigeration, air conditioning, ventilation systems, and heat pumps. Now that you have all the information, it's up to you to choose what works best for your setup. You can go with the OEM part, priced at around 35 euros, the upgraded version I installed, which costs about 18 euros or the top tier non-return valve option for roughly 50 euros. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think and tell me, have you ever had issues with your breather pipe?